Hi, this is John Mayfield, the Real Estate Tech Guy. Today I'm going to begin a series of videos on how you can use Microsoft Outlook in your business life. Now there are many, many things you can do with Microsoft Outlook and I've been using Outlook for a number of years. I love the program. I think it does a great job for email despite what others may say and I believe Microsoft has done an excellent job in making enhancements and really allowing Microsoft Outlook to be user friendly and beneficial as a business professional. So we're going to just spend some time doing a wide variety of videos. I'll be publishing some of the videos here at the realestatetechguy.com. However, if you'd like to buy the full CD on all of the videos on how you can use Microsoft Outlook, uh, you can go to my website and find out more. Today I want to just begin with showing you um, a little bit about Microsoft Outlook and how the menu items work. Uh, I'm using Microsoft Office 2010 and so as you can see uh, you have a file menu which is one of the things they changed from 2007. They actually did away with the file menu and you just had a big Microsoft logo round logo here. So I think a lot of people missed the file menu and so they brought that back and we're going to take a look at options here in a moment but as you can see like any program you have various menus and throughout the entire CD-ROM we will look at many of these features and tools and again you can check back on my web and uh, take a look at some of the free videos that I'll be posting from time to time so one of the things you need to get familiar with using Microsoft Office is the options button and that is under the file menu and it's located right here called options now why do you need to get familiar with options because you can make Microsoft Outlook work and function the way you would like it ha to have it work so we have lots of tabs here from a general tab to a, a mail tab calendar contacts and so forth we'll look at all of these features on the Outlook CD-ROM that I'm producing but right now let's focus on the general tab so if you select a general you can see there's a few little things you need to set up here and one of the items would be your username so I'd make sure you had your username in or your name and then your initials are good to have because we'll be looking at that a little bit later. You can also tell Microsoft Outlook if you want to see descriptions and screen tips or if you just soon have those turned off. So um, you can change the color settings if you're not crazy about silver and you want to change it to a different color you can do that. You can enable live preview or if you want to uncheck that uh, that's an option as well. You can also show a mini toolbar on selection. So again, we will go through all of these features in Microsoft Outlook. I hope that you will enjoy these series of videos. I want to make each video short and to the point so you can watch these on a regular basis and learn Microsoft Outlook and learn all of the powerful functions that it has. So again, remember to get to the Options tab, you go up to the File menu, and you go to Options. Now, we've taken a look at the General tab today. Tomorrow, we'll explore some more. That's all of the tech tip for the Microsoft Outlook tech tip number one from John Mayfield, the Real Estate Tech Guy.